What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Jumaya's World and right now we're going to be talking about how you can reach Mutt level 60 super fast in Madden 24 Ultimate Team. This is season 4 and pretty much right now we're almost at the end of it and um, there's been a lot of questions that's been circling around um, light up tokens, things like that. I'm going to get to that in this video as well. If you guys have been somebody that's been affected by the glitch where you took a lighted up token out of one of your players, whether it's Super Bowl past or present, and they disappeared, EA is aware of it and that will be a fix that will be coming soon but we're going to talk about that later right now we're going to focus in on the last couple levels that are left all right what's going on right now and what's what should you be putting your immediate attention to right right now as of the time that you watch this video we have no idea what the genki force players are that's going to be getting released probably while you're watching this video so if you guys are not familiar ea sports will do uh certain streams on ea madden nfl on twitch where they will reveal certain things this promo, I don't think we've ever seen before, so this is going to be new. But we're not really concerned about that. What we're concerned about is the fact that we're going to have to have two of these players to get 15,000 XP. Keep in mind that this has been adjusted from what it used to be at 48,000 for the four objectives to now it's 60,000. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through just really quickly uh, some of the things that you can do uh, to get this done really quickly so that way you kind of understand what's going on with it, right? These field goals, right? You don't have to do this in, you know, head to head or ranked. You can do this in a regular challenge. You can do this in a challenge. All right. The, the team tackles, it, spe it specifies head to head and solo battles. Those are the only things that you need to really specify. So really, really quickly, just to show you guys this, because some of you guys are saying, yo, bro, you know, I have to go into a game to do this. No, no, no. You don't got to do all that. Let me just show you how I made my, f uh, my five field goals really quickly. You go to challenges, right? And inside the legends, you're going to go over to right here. You're going to go to Fred Taylor, right? He's in the week one uh, segment. And you're going to go over to right here. It's, it's things like this that make it easy. Now, you see the way it says you have to score a rushing TD? You don't have to score the rushing TD. The game still tracks if you do something different. So it just so happens that where you're set up, you can make a 40 plus yard field goal. So you would do what I'm going to do right now five times. Although it says that you fail because you take a field goal, it doesn't matter. It's a 47-yard field goal. All you would do, and regardless of your kicker and regardless of your overall, it doesn't matter because I know a lot of people here are no money spent. If you're no money spent, go ahead and drop the NMS in the comments. It does not matter that that says it fails. You would do that five times, and that'll be the end of it. That's pretty much you know your 15,000 XP with that segment. The other things that go on, as long as it's not a kickoff, Okay, like, you know, a kickoff for six, you don't need to do solo battles. The only time I'll do solo battles, because generally I'll get kickoffs, I'll run kickoffs back in rank head-to-head -head games, but it's not usual that you'll get away with it. So I don't really want to put you guys in that situation where you're trying to do the special team objectives when they give it to you, where it's like a kickoff or a punt return for six. So that I would recommend on rookie in solo battles and you just do it that way. But Things like that, they're little like, you know, tricks and, you know, tricks and tips that you can get to to get rid of these things quickly. So you would do that five times, you would get the 15,000. The tackles, go into solo battles if you're not that strong of a head-to-head -head player, completing the 40 passes, go to any challenge where you have like the fourth quarter and just go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Just like, you know, every three downs, four downs, you know, you just throw, you know, complete some passes. And then as of today, we have to put two Genki Force players in the lineup. What you're gonna want to do if you're not subscribed already, you're gonna want to go into the description box, become a member of the channel, and then after that, you're gonna want to put on your post notifications. Because I'm gonna drop a video later once they drop the program, and we're gonna break this down as far as the Genki and what you have to do, um, you know, how you're gonna actually get it done and what's going to happen with it. And it's gonna be very, very simplified. But as of right now, you can't do anything with it. Okay, you can't like at the time of this video, you can't get this 15,000 because it hasn't been released yet. And the day that you watch this video, if you're watching it on the day of release, it's going to be released like three hours later. So more than likely, they're probably going to give us a few free players. And um, I don't think they're going to make this a paid situation where you got to pay for the players. So you should be able to uh, accumulate the players through challenges and different things like that or sets with some of the cards that you're already going to have. So that's just to break this part down. As far as your daily tracker, give me an update of where you are. As of today, we're going to be at 36, which means we're going to be like right now, we're four days away. All right. From completing this and getting the full 134,000 uh, with the way that this training is situated. All right. 
the daily should already be done. And then as far as the upgrades go, we're going to talk about that. The most, the best player to choose. I did get this question from a lot of new, no money spent players. Yo, G, who's the best player to choose? Joe Montana, Ty Law, or the Chris Jones, all right? Uh, we're going to break that down for you guys as well. Uh, so these are the reasons why you want to get your mutt level up. Because very rarely, EA Sports will give you a card that's decent. In this situation, they actually gave us one that's OP. All right, so we're going to talk about that. So right now, like I said, go through these weeks if you haven't already. Um, you're going to get that additional XP a little bit later. I'm going to drop something for you guys with that. And uh, as far as rewards go, we'll talk about that a little bit later. And like I promised you guys before, the Light It Up token. All right, now, inside of the competitive, right? If you are done with this, let me know, okay? Because a lot of you guys, like, you guys fly through this. You guys know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. I give you guys the blueprint and you're done. In my case, right, I only have one more 35,000 left. That's all I have left, right? And then after that, I'm going to get my legend packs and I'll be done. Keep in mind, this will not be updated more than likely to Ultimate Legends because it ends in 15 days. I don't know if you want to wait and see if it changes, but regardless, it won't matter because, you know, we'll be moving on up. It don't matter. Like the packs are going to be trash anyway that they give you for free. Uh, sometimes they do update it. This weekend, Ultimate Legends will be dropping, but there's 15 more days left to the competitive pass. So I would not wait and, tr you know, not play the game and, you know, much champs and stuff like that to try to wait for two free packs for Ultimate Legends when we don't even know if they're going to update it. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Doesn't really matter. Your main focus, as always, guys, play as many Mutt Champs as you can, regardless of your skill level. If you can't get the wins, get the other parts of it, because you accumulate a lot of this XP through that. I get a lot of, you know, like, yo, gee, thank you for telling me that. I, I, was, I was struggling in Mutt. It is a sweat fest, guys. Dude, it's literally disgusting what goes on in Mutt Champs, okay? But, again, even with all of that, I want you guys to focus in on scoring touchdowns, you know, uh, returning the kickoffs, rush yards. Get Accumulate that type of XP because as you go through the field pass, it just makes it a lot easier for you to get the XP that you need for the Mutt level. All right, so don't focus too much on having to win every game, regardless of your skill level, go through it the right way. Solo battles, okay? This is like a straight no money spent haven right here, dude. Like you're in heaven with this because they updated this to give you additional, you see like how you win 15 games here, right? You get to do the same thing, it like doubles up. So that alone is giving you 40 XP in this competitive pass. So you guys that play solo battles are actually winning a lot more than the head to head guys that only focus in on seasons. So if you're no money spent and I see it in the comments, I'm gonna definitely take a look at it because you guys should be locked in. This is gonna definitely help you reach that month level 60 fast because you'll be able to fly through this field pass. The other thing is this, right? The milestones, many of you guys said you did this and I don't know how you guys did it. And I, yo, dude, I, I commend you guys that played a hundred solo battles, dude. If you played a hundred solo battles, let me know in the comments, bro. Cause I'm gonna have to have you evaluated. Like immediately, like dude, this is crazy that EA even put that here, but it's definitely worth it for those of you guys that do not want to go into the sweat fest of head to head. So as you accumulate the XP, you know, obviously you'll be able to unlock more of the Mutt XP through the competitive pass XP. So this is like a straight W with just 200. All right. Now my, my general focus, right? With the way that it ranks is Mutt champs first. Then the milestones, which automatically happen if you do any of these. But after that, second ranked is going to be solo battles, which I no longer do. All right. But if you're a no money spent player or you're new to the game, this is going to definitely help you to upgrade your level very, very quickly. All right. I just focus in on all the head to head now. I don't really care about solo battles, so I'll take my time. And when I get there, I get there. But because I focus heavily on Mutt Champs and you get so much from Mutt Champs, it's easier for me overall because I usually win the 20 games, so that's 135 and 90, you see what I'm saying? So I'm getting over 200 anyway, weekly, through the Mutt Champs thing. So as you get your level up, you'll be able to take advantage of that a little bit more and gain all this XP as it goes on, all right? The next thing is, um, finally, most of you guys that are coming in and just got the game, you guys have realized that there's not a lot left in the playoffs that you cannot get the free player anymore because unfortunately EA Sports has knocked this off, but the XP is still available. So get all of this XP as soon as possible, okay? You easily go through the objectives, but yes, they have removed some of the objectives that were previously there, so you cannot get the free player at the end, but there is a tremendous amount of XP available, so please go ahead and take care of those playoffs. And then in the Super Bowl, right, this should be done as well for most of you guys. Let me know if you're maxed out. Write M-A-X in the comment section. You should have also received the Light It Up token from it as well. 
All right, some of you guys have completed it and did not get it. EA Sports is aware of it. You will be getting a grant for a lighted up token very, very soon. Okay, if you didn't get it, remember you get one that's for the present and you get one that's from the past. I did get an additional past one from the cheaper bundle that was released for like $20. Then they made it 60 for the present players and I said I'm done because they raised the price too much. You can be found right here. All right, so this is still available if you wanted a second lighted up token, which are valuable, but I would probably hold off and see what Ultimate Legends do or even golden tickets, okay? Now, as far as the glitch, that goes into um, the lighted up token, right? I've, I've been successfully able to take my tokens off of Mahomes and put it on McCaffrey with no issue. Also, I got I pulled a Warren Sapp from the uh, the Twitch drops that was a BND, you know what I'm saying? And I took it off of my old Sapp and put it on my, you know, my new Sapp that was BND and I had no issue with the lighted up token. I just wanna point that out. I took it off, I put it back on, there was no issue for me. So what I would urge you guys to do is if you're interchanging it, just do it from this screen. Like I've never done it from like my item binder. I always do it from the lineup screen. And I never get out of this without utilizing the token and putting it on, on another player. That may have something to do with it. Okay, so if you're gonna take it off the player, do not back out. Stay in the lineup and put it right on the other player. I've done it on live streams. I've done it so many times and we have not had an issue yet. And that is the only thing that I've done that's different for what I've been seeing other people do. I do not leave the screen until it's on somebody else. Now, the best free player when you get to Mutt level 54 or 55 or whatever this is, as you're on your way to Mutt level 60, is no doubt Chris Jones. This is probably one of the best players that they've released for free in a very, very long time. So if you're going to ask me, I would pass on Joe Montana. I would pass on Ty Law. I would definitely go Chris Jones. Let me know if you have Chris Jones right now. Just write CJ in the comment section. All right. This guy is a beast in this game. All right. And the abilities are very simplistic. Colossal. Oh, is it Colossal or Colossus? Colossus for X Factor and uh, inside stuff. He goes crazy. That is ultimately all you need to do uh, in order to make sure that you have everything set as you continue to level up. As far as everything else that goes on in the game, um, as you get closer to it, just make sure that you get at least to the level where you get the collectible that you need that's going to give you a boost for Season 5. Alright guys, so if you have any other additional questions or comments or things like that and you are a member of the channel, definitely go ahead and uh, you know put those comments out there. If you are just, a, you know, you're watching the channel, you're trying to understand what's going on, leave your comments in the comment section. Uh, the community has been very, very helpful in helping you guys uh, with specific questions and getting you guys answers. You can also join me, uh, you know, with the live streams here on Twitch and on YouTube. Definitely go ahead and subscribe, put on post notifications. I'll see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. One love, y'all.